Hi everyone, this is Sunny Kumar from IIT BHU and welcome to my channel Code with Sunny. And today I am going to discuss the problem Design Underground System. Index number is 1396 and the problem is of medium type of lead code. Okay, so let's discuss the problem now. So in this problem basically we have to implement three uh, member functions of a class underground system. And it is basically the first function is check-in where a person with a given id inter enters the station name that is given in this uh, uh, you can say argument uh, enters a given station at time t okay uh, a person with a card id equal to id enters the station with a given station name at time t and a customer can only be checked into one place at a time okay and uh, another member function check out uh, tells that a person with a given ID has a sh checks out that is leaves the station with a given station name at time t okay and uh, we have another member function as uh, get average time that is what is the average time between the starting station and the ending station that is the total number of difference of uh, time travel divided by total number of travels okay and we have to return the average time to travel between the start station and the end station that is okay and the average time is computed from all the previous traveling from the start station to the end station that is time of travel divided by number of travels between these two stations call to average time is always valid okay so how we are going to do this problem and what should be our approach let's move further and there will be at most 2000 20000 operations and id will be always greater than 1 and t will would be always less than equal to 10 power 6 okay so what should be our basic approach and what is the actual meaning of this problem and how we are going to implement this uh, various cases uh, in best possible way so let's move further to understand this okay so let's say uh, in a check-in function what is happening here is a person with a given id you can say a person with a given id enters a station that is let's say enters a station at time t1 and what let's say it has a station name has a name 1 okay so i am going to write a person with a given id enters the station at time t1 and the name of the station is name 1 and it is basically being denoted in the uh, check-in function and now i am going to write uh, another thing that is a person with a given id uh, it uh, leaves the station that is uh, let's say at time t2 at a particular station name is name 2 note that according to the problem statement uh, if a person uh, that is uh, this event 2 that is uh, event 2 for a per particular person id cannot happen before the happening of this event 1 that is a person must have to come to the station uh, with a particular name then only the person can leave and there will not be any other test cases like uh, a person has come to the a person is leaving from a station one that has already been not visited that's not happening here okay so in the get average function what i am going to do is it would be like uh, it uh, it uh, the in get average function it would be like uh, from station name one uh, to station name two what is the average time of travel it is uh, basically t2 minus t1 and this is for one travel let's say there are many more travels it would be like plus let's say t4 minus t3 and let's say there are two travels then it would be like t4 minus t3 and divided by total number of travels okay two between these two stations i am fixing it that is name one and name two okay so i have to compute these three functions write the member functions efficiently to carry out the operations and give the answers okay so let's move further to the coding part okay so let me make this screen so i'm going to uh, write three member functions of this underground system class it would be like uh, let's make a map of int and uh, pair of a string let's say i have pair of id okay i'm going to write int comma string so let's name it as entry 
so it is nothing but basically I'm going to denote that right with the comment that is the ID that is person's ID and there will be a pair that is going to denote the entry time and the entry station okay so this was the first map then I'm going to make another map that is uh, going to denote the sum that is the uh, difference between the uh, time of travels between the between the particular stations it would be like uh, let me first make a map for clearance of this question map of pair of two strings string and string and uh, it would be like uh, first key would be pair of string and string what would be the second key it would be denoting the sum and I'm going to write sum okay so let me comment it down and write it as this is entry station okay so one thing I have to do is okay so entry okay entry station and uh, my second element would be exit station station name basically and my that would be uh, the sum of time travels and uh, this was the basically the sum and the same thing I am going to write it down for counting the number of travels I'm just basically copying this and write it down to save our time okay so I'm going to write this here it is nothing but count okay I'm going to denote it as count and I write it as I'm going to write at CNT okay so okay so let's fill up the check-in function and check-out function check-in function would be simply entry of ID that should be equal to T comma station name okay so and what would be the exit of uh, a particular ID then I need to store the average that is to fill up the sum map and also erase the entry for the particular ID person so let's calculate the double difference as uh, let me write T minus entry of ID dot first that is the difference between the time you can see simply and uh, also so I'm going to fill up the sum map sum map would be filled by a pair that is so entry of ID dot second and uh, my second element would be station name and it would be like added at the difference simply and I need to increment my count map also I just need to go and copy this stuff okay just copy this okay and I need to paste it here and just increment it by one plus plus I need to erase the entry also so I am going to write entry dot erase ID simply okay so let's fill up the average time also so it would be like return okay return the double value of okay double value of so I am going to write the sum divided by count so sum of start station and end station start station and end station and uh, let me copy this also and write it for count so divide by count of this okay so count of this I think this should be fine so let me run this code and check it out if this is working properly or not okay so yes it is good let me submit this code and check it out yes it is good so if you have any doubts do not forget to mention in the comment section of the video and I will ask the viewers to like this video, share this video and do subscribe to my YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you for watching this video.